It's these blows from Hurricane Hannah that destroyed Bob Hall Pier. And now, a year and a half later, the rebuilding process begins to move forward. And good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Kathy Uriake. And I'm Pat Simon. Believe it or not, tomorrow is actually that year and a half mark since Hurricane Hannah damaged the popular Bob Hall Pier so badly. The local landmark had to be closed off. And tonight was another opportunity to voice your opinion on what a replacement pier should look like. Our Seth Kovar reports that dozens of people took the opportunity to weigh in on an important part of our community. On July 25th of 2020, Hurricane Hannah left Bob Hall Pier so damaged, almost all of it now needs to be torn down. The building that houses the Michael Mays restaurant can be saved. Good news for the family who ran it. I feel like I basically grew up on that pier. Um, I, there was a time in my life where I was there every single day. And folks like her look forward to the day when a new Bob Hall Pier can open sooner rather than later. This is who we are. That's how strongly I believe that that pier needs to be built right away. This is how the popular tourist attraction has been greeting tourists for about a year and a half now. Tonight's town hall meeting was all about what needs to be done to Bob Hall Pier to return it to its landmark status. That's where people differ. Some want to see the pier that an engineering firm revealed renderings of tonight. There's more restaurant and event space, coverings to provide shade and built in furniture to name a few amenities. We want something good to be there and we can be there for the rest of our lives yeah. hanging out on that pier. But that pier will cost around $30 million, and right now Nueces County leaders have only come up with $18 million. That cost had some people concerned, but others want to make sure the pier's fishing routes aren't lost. Wider is great. Adding more fishing holes, you know, enough with the furniture, enough with the tops that go over it. If you missed tonight's meeting, you can now weigh in over the internet. A survey went online just today at futurebombhallpier.com. Regardless of how fancy you think the new pier should be, most folks just want it back so they can enjoy it again. A lot of like the best days of my life actually, um, I was there and it was so much fun. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.